Have you ever wanted to make your streams more mysterious? Or maybe make it all dancey? Our major viewers know that the Transformers have won. With the release of Stream about 1.8, now there's functionality directly built in to connect up your voice mod application. So that means you can start creating some channel point redeems, some sub alerts, everything like that, all tied in with voice mod now too. And because it's on stream about 1.8, you can of course use these as well for your YouTube channel rewards with the Gazelle extension. Let's jump straight into it and I'll show you how to set it all up. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up voice mod. Make sure you have voice mod launched and you have everything set up. Make sure you hear yourself, listen to the voice changer, see how it all sounds. Make sure everything is up and running, everything like that. Next thing, what you want to do is launch up your streamer about 1.8 and all of its juicy goodness. Now, I'm recording this while version 8 is still in alpha, so it may be a little different for you. But if you go to integrations, you should see the voice mod option there. What you want to do is click the auto connect and auto reconnect. Then you just want to press the connect to voice mod. And that should pretty much just set us all up right here. What you want to do then is just basically start creating some actions the first thing you're going to want to do is just right click sub action go down to voice control and set the voice changer state we're going to set that to enabled once you've done that you can right click again add another sub action go down to voice mod and then we're going to go choose select a voice from here then there's all the different voices that you have available to you depending on if you have a license for voice mod or not i'm going to call this one spooky so i want the one that i was using which was the doctor so now obviously this is going to set it forever which you probably don't want to do so you can set up a delay so if you right click and add a sub action and go to delay send this to a value of 10,000, for example would be 10 seconds now if you're not using voice mod to just control your general EQ and you just want to disable it then what I'd recommend is just going up to here and duplicating this sub action double click set it disabled so now what will happen is that if anyone does anything to redeem this action it will enable it change the voice to the doctor we could actually split those around just in case there's a bit a little bit of delay we're going to set the voice to the doctor we're going to set it to enabled we're going to wait 10 seconds so that means leave it on for 10 seconds and then we're going to turn it off what you want to do then is press save settings. Now, so obviously, you know, most of you guys are probably going to want something like this as a channel point reward or something like that. So we're going to go through that bit now. What you want to do is click up here on platforms. Then inside your Twitch channel point rewards, right click anywhere and just press add. We can call this anything then. So spooky voice. You can set the cost. So let's say it's going to be 100. We don't need a prompt, but if you want to add a prompt, you can add it in here. Obviously set up your mins and maxes, everything like that. You can also set them up in groups. I'm going to preemptively add it to the YTCR group so I can get it on my YouTube. And then obviously last thing you have to do then is select the action. So go down to where you added the action. I called mine spooky, for example. I can just do that. Press OK and then save settings again. So now when I go onto my Twitch and go into my channel points, for example, I can see here, spooky voice for 100 points. So now let's actually test it and see how it goes. Testing, one, two, testing, one, two, testing, testing, one, two. I don't have here myself on. Yeah. Now, and then it turns off then straight away. Now, you probably heard me twice there just because how I have my audio set up. Just make sure you do actually go through your OBS and make sure you have stuff you know actually separate and stuff like that you could actually even take that bit further as well so if you do have that problem i'm going to show you exactly how to fix it two hours later so basically depending on if you want to hear yourself or not this is basically what i'm after creating here so what you want to do is you not don't actually want to have your microphone enabled inside the actual obs settings but to add it as a source by doing that then it actually allows us to mute and unmute it super quickly with streamer bot if you don't have this set up already and you already have 100 scenes you know it might take a little bit of time to comprise this but again you don't have to do it this way you don't want your mic coming through twice it depends on how you set up voice mod and what type of microphone if you, that you have to be able to see that in some sort of real time this is basically what i'm going to do just on my other monitor i'm going to enable the spooky voice and we're going to test it you know spooky time spooky spooky time then it should just turn off and there we go badoom badoom perfect here self is still on let's tweak this one more time now there is one more thing i did have to add to get that actually working which is i needed to add just some little bit of a delay between the voice changer state and the hear voice state sometimes they both went off at the same times sometimes they didn't i guess you're just trying to make too many changes instantly at the same time in voice mod and just can't deal with it so this is what i'm after doing basically what i'm going to do is down in the description down below there's going to be the string to ex exactly this and what you can do then is just right click on here and you can duplicate it and you can create all different ones the only thing you're going to have to change is just this right in here so that way then you can just set up all of these 
then set them up with your chat commands. Now, we're not completely done because this will also work on YouTube as well using the Gazelle YouTube Channel Rewards extension. If you don't have that set up already, there is gonna be a card up in whatever top corner it is. So if you have it all set up anyway, you just wanna make sure that the channel point is actually set to it as well. So make sure that it is in the YTC or group. Make sure that you're actually connected to the WebSocket, which we are. And now let's try this on the YouTube side. I know we're not live or anything like that, but this will all work the exact same. Just wanna go down here to your channel points and here we can see spooky voice. If I just press it, we should become ominous someone with all and all with one and everything and anything. <laughs> Insert spooky text here. <laughs> It's that easy. It's fantastic. As always, it's been your man Tomo over here at IRL Create. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we will see you in the next video. Peace and love. Yeah.